America, the land of the endless horizon. In the human imagination, it's always been a place of new beginnings and limitless opportunity, a frontier to be discovered, overcome, and settled. And every step of that journey has been traced through art. The story of American art is as epic as the story of America itself. In this series, I'll follow the trail left by America's artists, from the clash between man and nature to the clashes of different cultures and different ideas. I'll be exploring the many ways in which the modern world was shaped and structured here in America. Because this is about America as an idea reproduced and sold through images. The images that helped to forge the American dream, yet also mirrored the truths beneath. And ultimately, it's the story of America's struggle to find a sense of identity and a sense of direction in the increasingly fragmented, uncertain and image-saturated world of the 21st century. As well as creating an architectural legacy, America's founding fathers wanted a pictorial tribute to the birth of their nation, to be installed inside the grandest of their new government buildings, the Capitol. They turned to an artist called John Trumbull, an adequate portrait painter who struggled to rise to this challenge. And what you see here is the familiar language of portraiture applied rather uneasily and stiffly to grand historical narrative. Perhaps I should whisper it in these august precincts, but John Trumbull, whose principal works decorate the rotunda of the capital, was quite possibly the single most boring painter in the entire history of American art. What's he done here? He's taken one, two, three, four events at the center of the American War of Independence and turned them into nothing more than a sequence of stultifyingly dull group portraits.